I'm Olivia De Silva with the Investing News Network, and I'm here to give you your monthly base metals roundup. To start things off, we're going to touch base on the Vale situation. Last month, a dam collapsed at one of its Brazilian operations and killed over 300 people in the process. Brazil's National Mining Agency responded by putting forward regulations to ban all dams that were built using the same upstream method that Vale's had. Analysts have estimated that Vale will lose 50 million tons of production this year from the disaster, with Wood Mackenzie estimating that iron ore prices could reach $85 per ton from the losses. Switching over to copper, First Quantum Minerals announced earlier this month that its Cobre Panama project in Central America was slowly but surely beginning to ramp up. Estimated to produce 380,000 tons of copper each year upon full ramp up, Eleni Joannidis of Wood Mackenzie has previously told INN that it was the only greenfield project of note coming online this year. For the time being, the company is looking to make its ramp up a phased operation with the goal of hitting 150,000 tons of copper this year. The red metal hit its highest price point since July earlier this week when benchmark prices on the London Metal Exchange peaked at $6,540 per ton. To wrap things up, we're going to touch base with nickel, which as of earlier this month has been docketed to see its demand increase 19 times over. Benchmark Mineral Intelligence Managing Director Simon Moores predicted that nickel demand would grow as battery manufacturers are using less cobalt for battery cells. As of February 27th, nickel was trading at $12,875 per ton on the London Metal Exchange. That's everything for this month, but be sure to stay in the loop by checking us out on Twitter, on Facebook, and on LinkedIn.